stuff over there. All right, guys. So I, I know I said I was going to take a little bit of a break from shooting videos and really focus on practicing, but I figured what's the best thing to do when I can practice with you guys. So this is what we have set up here. So this is going to be my mock barricade stage. So I've got my chair, I've got my center barricade, and I've got my angled barricade. So we're going to do four shots from four separate positions. So I'll work left to right, and we're going to shoot at 400 yards. Now, the 400-yard target, I've already got everything dialed, so on and so forth, so I'm not going to be dialing. But we might come back down to 100 yards, and I'll dial down to 100 yards, and I'll shoot from the center again and just make it a five-shot. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do, but you guys stick around, and we're going to get to it. Alright guys, so we're going to do this real quick, and when we start our stage, we always start with all of our equipment in our hand, and the RO is going to ask you, do you understand the course of fire? You answer yes or no, and then they're just going to tell you to load and make ready. I'm loaded and make ready. Bolt's open. So he's going to say, shooter, are you ready? You answer yes or no. And he's going to tell you to engage. So that's what we're going to do real quick. And we're going to mock that. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? Yes. Load and make ready. Load and made ready. Bolt back. Engage. So our first spot we're going to come to is right here. So now I'm at this awkward angle. I'm going to put a knee down. I'm going to find my target. Impact! We're going to go to our second spot, which is going to be up here. Bolts all raised back, 120 degree. So you do a side shuffle to get to your next spot. No call! We're going to move to our third spot. I actually pulled that shot. Impact! It's our third spot and our final spot is going to be here on the chair, guys. And now I'm going to crouch back down. Find my target. Impact! And guys, that's our mock stage. So, that's going to be our barricade stage. And in just a second, we're going to have another stage set up with a little bit different obstacles. So, give me just a second, guys. We'll have something else set up. All right, guys, so this is going to be our tank trap simulation stage. And now we're going to transition from 400 yards out to 600 yards while positioned inside this tank trap. Now, this is not the most stable thing to shoot off of because they're not screwed together. But generally, a tank trap is going to be super secure to shoot off of. So we're going to start this side. We're going to do two shots at 400. And then we're going to transition over to this side and do two shots at 600 and then our course of fire will be completed. So I do this in four run or four shot increments is how I practice versus burning through a bunch of ammo and doing a 10 shot increment. I feel like less is more and more is less. So I like to practice with four round increments and just kind of make a little bit of a mock stage to practice off of. Shooter, load and make ready. Load and made ready. You understand the course of fire? Yes. Two shots, 400. Two shots, 600. Transition between 400 and 600. All right, guys. So here we go. Stand by. Engage. So we're going to come right here. We're going to find this sweet spot on our rifle and our bag right here. And we're going to engage 400. Now, tank traps are a little bit difficult, especially if you have right-handed actions like I do. So... Uh, 
Impact! Alright guys, so now we're going to move over to the other side and we're going to engage 600 yards. So we're going to have to dial for dope. Now this is where this gets tricky. So I don't have a lot of room to work right here. So I'm going to set my rifle in here and I'm going to freehand my rifle. I've got my dope dialed up for 600 yards. I'm going to find my target up here at 600 yards. Shooter, check your dope. I was short, guys. Impact! And it's that simple, guys. So, anybody can do this sport. I'm a firm believer in it. That with the right attitude, anybody can do this sport. So, this is just a mock-up tank trap. It's not quite the best. I put my rifle over here, this side picks up. If I put my rifle here, this side would pick up. So, I kind of got to work with what I got here. But give me just a second, we're going to set up one more stage. So we're going to work 600 yards in. We're going to go 600, 400, 300, 200, 100. Five shot group at the various distances. So I'm loaded. I'm made ready. My bolt is back. So we're going to do it. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? Yes. Shooter, are you ready? Yes. Engage. So we're going to come up here, we're going to set our bag down, and then we're going to get our rifle down on top of our bag, then we're going to crouch down behind it, we're going to close our bolt, impact! So we're going to dial down to 400. Impact! We're going to dial down to 300. No call. We're going to dial down to 200. Impact. And we're going to come back down to our zero at 100. No call, I pulled the shot. Now, even though I pulled a shot on that, this is why we practice, and practice makes us better. But guys, we're gonna run one more mock-up stage, and then after that, we're gonna head out. So, give me just a minute, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is gonna be my last run that I actually record. Um, I've got to do a lot of dope and stuff like that. And for those of you that don't remember, dope is data upon previous engagement. So this is going to be my final one. And we're going to simulate the barricade stage um, where you would just use a single bag and you would have to free, fro free float your rifle. So what we're going to do is we're going to engage targets from 100, 300, 400 and 600 while dialing so obviously we start at 100 that's where you'll know if your zero is correct we will jump to 300 and then we will jump to 400 and then we will make the larger jump out to 600 single shot engagements and that's what we're going to do 
So, hold on guys, I'm gonna grab my rifle and we're gonna get ready. Load and make ready. All right, guys, so we're going to dial our optic all the way down to zero. And then we're going to dial at 100 or from 100 to 300, from 300 to 400, from 400 to 600. So, guys, here we go. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? Yes, I do. Shooter. When you're ready, engage. All right, so we're gonna come up here. We're gonna put our bag down. We'll make sure our rifle is good on there. If I let go of my rifle, will it stay? Not really, because it's not quite balanced enough. But, so we have a good stable platform. Close your bolt. Engage the blue target. Impact! Three hundred. Guess it helps if I close my bolt. Impact four hundred. Impact, 600. Impact. And that's one clean sage, guys. Granted, this was only a four shot sage, but we were dialing, so on and so forth. So. After our stage is complete, we will drop our mag, we'll have our bolt back, and then we'll put in a range card. So, guys, that is a little bit of my practice today. So, I do appreciate you sticking around. Um, but, I've just had a lot of personal stuff going on the past couple weeks. So, that's kind of why I took a little bit of a break. But, guys, we're back. And we're going to do a lot more of this style of stuff. I've got some very special treats coming for you guys. So <clears throat> I do appreciate all of you that stuck around and understood why I was taking a break. Um, I'm not going to get into the personal reasons why. However, I do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. But guys, till next time, I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.